Hey friends, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you about iOS snapshot tests. So as you can see on my screen right now, I have a GitHub repository open. And over here, I have two libraries of uh, iOS snapshot testing. So over here, you see this is by Ubo. So I've made a video about this uh, in about two years ago. So I'll leave a link at the top if you want to check that out. Today, I want to talk to you about a newer library that I've seen, which is this one over here. It's called Swift uh, Snapshot Test. So as you can see over here, the stars over here is 2.9K, uh, while the previous one is 1.6K. So I figured that this is more popular, so let's create a video about this. And also because I think that snapshot testing is quite important if you are working on a production app. And if you had experience with a unit test or you have uh, written a UI test, uh, what snapshot testing is, if you do not know, is that it is unit test for your views, all right? So imagine that uh, you have created a, a collection view cell or a table view cell or a custom view. You want to preserve the integrity of you know the constraints, the color, and the elements inside. This is when snapshot testing comes in, all right? So in, essentially, what it does is that it takes a snapshot or a screenshot of your view, and then when you run a test, uh, when you run a test against it, you're you're actually asserting that the new view, uh, when it's rendered, should match the screenshot or the snapshot that has been recorded before. All right. So if you do not know what I mean, uh, just continue to watch this video, and I'm going to firstly show you a quick um, completed project of how it looks like. Okay. So I'll give you a high level overview. And then if you're interested, you can follow me alongside to create a brand new project to you know, integrate the test, to write a couple of views, uh, to, and write some assertions as well, all right? So uh, as mentioned, the snapshot test, you know, we can test for you know, like a view controller's view, we can test for a custom view, we can test for a table view, header view, table view, a footer view, a collection view, and you know, any kind of views over here. Okay, so if you see over here, this project is called Snapshot Testing, and I have here a view controller, and I have a custom view, and I have a custom table view cell, all right? So we're gonna, this, this project tests for this uh, three elements over here, and let's check out what the elements are inside this view, okay? So over here, we have a red view, all right? It's just a UI view, and then it's red in color, and then I add some auto layout to center it in the middle of the view controller. Okay, so if you see over here, we have a custom view. This one over here, we have a label that says hello mate. And then this is also being uh, added as a sub view inside this uh, custom view over here, uh, right in the middle. Okay, finally, we have this custom table view cell. We have a label that says hello mate as well. And then uh, we do have a little bit of logic over here. So this is where it gets a bit interesting. So for example, when we call this configure function, we pass in the text to be uh, to be inserted into this label, but I pass in this Boolean value called is error, okay? And depending on this Boolean value, it will change the text color as well as the background color of this table view cell, all right? So we're gonna test for this as well, okay? So again, you might be wondering, why do we want to write test for views? That's because you don't want your colleague, you know, to come in and accidentally change this to blue. And then, um, you know, it, it starts to break on production for whatever reason, all right? That's why we write snapshot tests for this. <clears throat> okay, so guys, let's uh, start a brand new project. Oh wait, before I do that, let me just show you to you how the test case look like over here. So if you see in this project called snapshot testing, I have the main uh, target, which is called snapshot testing. And I've also a unit test bundle over here that says, uh, snapshot testing test and which is this file over here so if you notice um, this uh, imports the snapshot testing library and then I have this test that uh, that conforms to the uh, XC test case so this is very familiar to your unit test and then what we do is that we call this function called assert snapshot matching whatever view and s image over here so i'm testing over here for my view controller over here i'm testing for the custom view okay and over here i'm testing the custom table view cell with error and without error so if you see over here is error is true is error is false and uh, as you can see, I just ran this test and everything passed. And one thing I want to show it to you is that when I right click on this project folder and go to show final, notice that I have all the snapshots that are being recorded inside this folder. So let me just hit the space button. You will see that um, I have uh, all this uh, snapshots that's being uh, written inside. 
So if you're wondering why I have WhatsApp, uh, WhatsApp over here, that's because I pass this as a value inside the test case. Okay, so obviously I can change this and make this as dynamic as I want. You know, you can also, I, I remember in the past when uh, when I was in Grab, we test to ensure that, you know, uh, if uh, the text is uh, more than expected, how do we handle truncation and things like that gracefully? So that's one use case for that. All right, so let's get started with a simple project and I'm gonna use this as a reference at the side, okay? So over here, I have a brand new project and I'm gonna call this snapshot demo. So it's completely new. So let's just run the simulator first. Oops, it looks like it kind of messed up just now. Then uh, I think it's fine. Let me just come here and hit the play button. Okay, I'm gonna bring the simulator to the side so that you guys can see, okay? Okay, so as you can see, it's blank right now. It's a blank uh, view controller. So I'm going to just copy some code over. So let's just um, add, let's just create a, uh, a red view over here. So I have a red view, okay? And I set the background color to be red. And then what I wanna do is that I want to um, just set some auto layout. So if I'm to run this, uh, notice that I will see a red view right in the middle. Okay, so very, very simple stuff. Okay, so now we want to create the um, unit test, uh, unit testing bundle, or rather the snapshot unit testing bundle. So come over here, and then let's hit the plus button over here, and let's select um, unit test. Oh, oh, let me see what's it called, test. Unit testing bundle, so this one over here. And then I'm gonna keep the name as usual, and then hit the finish button. But right now what I want to do is, uh, I want to add a uh, a library into this uh, target. So I'm going to go over to my build phases, all right? So typically you'll see this. Let's go to build phases. Uh, let's expand this uh, link binary with libraries, hit the plus button. And then this when I want to add a package dependency, which is the, uh, the testing library, okay? So now let's come back to my, um, my Chrome and I wanna select this one. Okay, so copy this. Uh, let's come back to Xcode. And then let's just paste this over here. And then I'm gonna select um, the minor version, okay? So I think it's fine if you select the next major version, but I prefer to use the minor. So let's hit add package. So now this is the important part. You wanna ensure that you integrate this library into the test uh, target instead of your main project. Because if you are to uh, set this one over here, your project is not going to be able to build. All right, so let me show you to you what happens if you are to set this uh, accidentally. So you realize that when you hit the play button, it's going to complain. Oh, build fail, all right? So basically you see a bunch of weird errors over here. If that happens to you, <clears throat> you have to come back here again and just remove this um, um, uh, from the uh, link library of binaries. Hit the remove, come back here again, and then we have to, uh, to do the, we have to redo the steps over here. Okay, so, as mentioned, we want to ensure that we add this into our testing uh, unit instead. Okay, so over here, let's select this one, the demo test, and then hit add package. So when this happens, if I'm to run the uh, app right now, I believe it should still build successfully. Okay, so this is very important to uh, to note because I took a while to figure out why the project couldn't be built. Okay, so now that we are done with this, we should have a file that's being automatically created, which is called the, um, the, um, the test file over here. And I'm going to remove everything over here and I'm gonna use uh, the template that's being provided, oops, the template that's being provided by uh, the library. So if you notice over here, if I scroll down, I have this um, usage uh, portion over here. I'm gonna copy the entire thing. And then I think I can close this for now and I can paste this inside the test case. So if you notice over here, this resembles a, a, a typical unit test. We have the import XE test and this test conforms to XE test case. So it's very familiar if you have written unit tests before. Okay, the one step that we need to do is to do testable import and we have to import our, um, our uh, app module. So which is snapshot demo. And then right now I'm going to keep the class name. I think it's fine if you want to just change it. And I'm going to call this test um, view controller. So over here we have um, the view controller that we have already created. So let's use this one here. And then, okay, so 
guys, I want to show you something first, all right? So if you right click over here and you go to show finder, notice that I don't have any, um, I don't have any screenshots that's being recorded yet. Okay, so notice that when I expand all the folders, I don't see any like, you know, JPEG files or PNG files over here. So what you need to do is that you have to firstly turn this into record mode, all right? So you do that by setting this uh, uh, parameter to be true. So notice that when I hit on this uh, diamond buttons, okay, let's open this uh, definer. Notice that I'm going to see a new um, image being written into this, uh, into the uh, the project, uh, uh, the project folder. All right. So let's just wait for a while for this to load. All right, guys, so finally it loaded and notice that it failed. So if you see over here, it says it failed. Record mode is on, which is uh, expected. So if you come to your finder right now, you will notice that you should have a new image over here. All right, so notice over here, I have this thing called test view controller. And if I hit the space button, this is what I see. All right, so this should be transparent at the background. All right, so notice what happens now is that uh, if I am to uh, you know, maybe run the test case one more time. Obviously, this is going to pass, right? <clears throat> okay, test succeeded over here. Okay, so I believe if, uh, let's say I come in over here and someone accidentally does something like this, I have a feeling that it might fail. I'm not sure, so let's check it out. Okay, so let me run the test case one more time and I believe it should fail, all right? So it says that it does not match the reference, although, Running on a simulator, it might look very similar, but in fact, the view uh, is actually transparent previously, okay? So this is, um, you know, one of the use case to catch uh, a bug that is not so obvious, okay? So let me come back over here and let me remove this background color. And if I'm to come back uh, to, over to the test case and rerun this, um, this should pass this time, okay? All right, so let's assume that, you know, maybe uh, the right usage is to have the white background color. All right, so let's come back over here and let's just uh, undo this and add the uh, white background color. And you want to update the test case to say that, hey, the expected view should have the white background color. What we need to do is to come back over here and just perform the record one more time. So record equals to true. So notice that if I am to run this and let me just open this up for you. Okay, so this is previously, you see the transparent background. Okay, so right now, if I'm to, uh, to to preview this again, notice that this is now white in color, all right? So if I'm to remove the uh, record mode and hit the play button one more time, this test should pass. All right, I hope that this is this is helpful for you. Okay, so let's uh, let's move on and try something else over here. So I have done for the um, view controllers view. Let's try maybe a custom view, okay? So let's me, let me just paste this in over here. So I have a very typical custom view over here that conforms to UI view. I have a label that says, hello mate, okay? And uh, what I've done is just uh, add this as a sub view and just lay out this uh, in the middle, okay? So let's um, come back over here and let's just create a test for this. So test custom view. And then uh, let me just um, create the code for this. <clears throat> okay, so maybe I like to do this given when then. So let's create the custom view. So let view equals to custom view. And then what we need to do is that we can't just create a view like that. We have to define the uh, the the, uh, the bounds of this view. All right. So let's create uh, the frame. So view dot frame equals to cg rec. Let's expand this and then let's uh, go with zero, zero. And for the width, you can do maybe 300 and 280. Okay, then um, I think we don't need the when. And then we can go straight to the then and then we can do a search snapshot. All right, guys, so one thing to note is that right at the start, you can choose not to do record, uh, record as true if you start. Uh, okay, let me, let me explain one more time. When you just write a new test case, you don't have to specify record if it's true if the project does not contain the custom view. All right, so let, let me so let me just run this first because I didn't really phrase that very properly. So now notice that, uh, okay, whoopsie, let me pass the view over here. So if I'm to run this right now, if I did not specify record mode to be true, okay, which obviously is gonna fail, 
it's going to auto create a view inside over here as well. All right, so test custom view one is being created. Okay, so if I'm to hit this again, it's going to pass. So this might be a bit confusing, but basically if it does not, if it, it does not find an existing snapshot, it's going to auto create for you. Okay, so now if I am to come back over here uh, and I'm going to do maybe like a space, obviously this is going to fail. All right, so let's just run this one more time and let's check that out. <clears throat> All right, so it's going to fail over here. Okay, so let me just uh, bring this back in and let's come back to the next uh, view that uh, is a bit more interesting. So this will be the table view cell. So let me just paste this in here. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a custom table view cell. We have a label here that says hello mate. Maybe let's make this a bit different from, from this one with more exclamation marks. And then I have a configure function over here. Again, pass in the text and then set the text color depending on whether error is true or not. If it's true, make, make this red. Otherwise, we want it to be dark text. And then, you know what, maybe let's, uh, okay, I think that's good. Background color is also subjected to this is error boolean um, value as well. Okay, and we align this center in the middle of the, the view. All right, so very straightforward stuff. Again, let's create this uh, test case. So test, uh, is it called custom table view cell? Okay, so this time we have a when um, statement over here, okay? When means, you know, we have some kind of condition. Okay, I'm going to just copy this here. Okay, so we define the frame first, okay? And for the width, I'm going to use a UI screen .main bounce. So this screen is going to follow the width of the iPhone 14 Pro. So if, okay, so I want to show you something first, guys. So let me just hit the play button over here and this is obviously going to pass, right? However, if I am using a different simulator, then it's likely that this test are going to fail. So there's something to take note of as well, okay? So this is going to take the width of whatever iPhone that you specify in the simulator, okay? So now I have the view and I pass in the frame inside over here. Okay, so now I can under the when itself i'm going to do view.configure is it configure do i have that here okay why why do i not have this let me have a quick look oh yeah i got configure okay so maybe let me do it this way over here what's up oh what's up and then let's do a search snapshot over here Okay, so I'm going to test uh, the false scenario first, test uh, uh, without error. Okay, so for example, like that. And then we can, um, I mean, maybe for good practice, we can do record equals to true. And then let's just hit the, let's hit the play button to run this. So it's going to run a simulator right now. All right, guys, so obviously it's going to fail because uh, it does not have a um, snapshot. So right now, if I am to remove this record over here and just hit the play button, it's going to it's going to pass. Okay, but of course we want to examine the snapshot to ensure that this is as expected. All right, so let's come back to um, our condition over here. I'm passing in false. So if it's false, then the text color should be dark, and the background should be um, should be clear. All right. So let's have a look at the image over here. So this is the one. So, yep, the, uh, the text color is dark text and the background color is clear. All right, so now we want to test for the other, um, the other scenario. So again, as you can see there, you know, you can write all the different uh, permutations of those conditions and ensure that your views are, are, are done properly, all right? So with error, we're going to do with error this time. And then I'm going to keep everything the same, but this time I'm going to set this to be true, all right? So why is why I'm not seeing the why am I not seeing the buttons? Never mind. What I'm what I can do is uh, I can just run over here, and I think it's gonna handle this as well. All right. So everything is gonna pass except for this one over here is gonna fail, and let's just remove this. Hit the play button, which obviously is gonna pass. But let's just examine the one uh, with the error. So as you can see over here, this is the one with error. So yes, we have the red color text color as well as the yellow background. All right, guys, we have come to the end of the 20 minute video. It's a little bit long, longer than I expected, but I hope that this video uh, helps to 
uh, teach you something that's useful for your own projects professionally. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers and see you guys. Bye.